Hello everyone, Crash Bunny Spark 12 here, and I'm here with the game that uh, um, no one has been let's playing it before. Well, this is not gonna really help with anything because this game doesn't have audio. But yeah, this is the prototype version of Crash Bandicoot 1 before it was released. So this is the main menu um, thing. Uh, main menu for the game. Okay, so now I decided to do a let's play in one go. I might cut it in parts, I might do it just in one go. As you can see, the map, zo click zoom out. <coughs> and um, as you can see, this is the whole map from first, second, and third island. Now they changed many many things in here in in, the, in this game and its levels. It doesn't say names of levels at all. And as you can see the loading thing is kind of screwed up. But that's that's what it is. We can't really do anything. And now the um the people from Crash Mania has like um, I think spatial codes to access um, um, access like secret levels like in this hall right here there's supposed to be a secret uh, bonus round when you fall into it but you need uh, some spatial coding for it and uh, well, we we hope to get it soon and we hope to like um, you know, show people about uh, the, um, you know, the, the, all the secret stuff. And as you can see in this game, Aku Aku doesn't turn gold. It's just like, as normal uh, as how it is. I need to turn down the volume of the game. Yeah, uh, as I said, this game doesn't have audio at all. Like, it doesn't have music. So I'm probably just going to add normal music uh, while this is, you know, just I'm going to add the normal music of the normal levels. Also, uh, also you can see that when in Invincibility, it's just a normal Aku Aku mask on your face, just glowing like that. Also, there is no point to go out. Oh, here we go. There are those boxes that are placed here, which they're like never been here before and as you can see right here there are <coughs> this box is around here and they never been there before and so there is a lot of changed things in this prototype version of Crash Bandicoot 1 which is quite interesting and quite entertaining because here you can see also the um, portal it's it's not the same as how it is in the final version now, one, also, once you finish uh, a level, you don't get gems, you don't get anything at all. You just you can run through the level and run to the end. And as you can see, you can. This is how the map is in the beta of uh, Crash Bandicoot One. <coughs> and uh, yeah, they pretty much. Th this version of the game is basically very interesting and very challenging because yeah I don't know it's just like it's even more um, different you know than Japanese games I mean this is like way too different and way too difficult I would say that uh, you can't really say that they, this uh, this one is better than the um, the released game but um, I would say that this game, the prototype version of Crash Bandicoot 1, um, it's, um, m I don't know, I find it more entertaining and more challenging because of the difficulty. Now I'm probably going to use in this Let's Play save states in case I'm going to I'm gonna fail horribly, which I hope I don't, because I've played um, uh, today this game before I started recording. And there are also some um, missing effects that are like in this game. Okay, let's go to the bonus round, and as you will see, the bonus round is also uh, different as well. So, yep, here it is. This is the bonus round. 
and it's like um, you know those embryo and um, cortex uh, bonus rounds stuff and as you can see right here Tona is actually uh, got uh, brown fur so she, she they that's how she looked like before the final uh, version of Crash Bandicoot 1 and also I think that's the they also change her clothes and, st and such. I don't know why, but this plant was uh, looked different as well. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the fonts are also different in this game. The fonts, as you can see, they are really like you know crappy. Also, the loading screens are longer than the um, normal version, the the uh, finished version. Um. It's really stupid that they didn't name the levels like, uh, you know, before you enter a level or at least when you enter a level to show the name of it uh, so you will know what is it. Because there are some levels that look completely different from the main... Uh, I got this thing, I got a life. I can't really reach that life thing. As you can see, this uh, also when you spin those um, things to jump on them, those platforms, they're kind of um, pushing you back in this version. Oh, also, yeah, this uh, checkpoints in the game. Um, are also different. It's not actually checkpoint. It just says continue. That's all it says. Um. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I forgot that. I forgot about that. That uh, even though you have invincibility, um, you can't really kill those guys with the shield that they have. So you need to be very, very careful. Oh, oh, no! Whoa, no! Fuck. Yeah, that was a terrible thing. It sucks that I didn't save state it, which I'm gonna do that pretty soon because this um, this uh, version is very terrible. Oh yeah. Also, as you can see on the TNT boxes. They don't show numbers, they just go like, just TNT, and making that noise of the, the, they're gonna blow up. Oh, here you go. I got rid of this guy. The game froze for a second. Holy crap. Um, yeah, the, this version of the game is very, very different, and I don't know why. I, I just find it, find it more challenging than, uh, uh, than the original version. It's like... You, you, you got used to the, no to the normal version of it, uh, but seriously. The, oh yeah, 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 I forgot to mention! Those icons that you can see on the screen, of like Aku Aku, Pinstripe, Brio, Koala Kong, um, Ripperu and um, Papu Papu, Though this uh, is the early, um, earliest thing for the uh, secret passwords, for you know, for uh, to get back to the same point where you were. So those are are the things that. Uh, oh, here we go. So you can see that in this level they change the end and some few other things that are not in the in the finished game. Okay, right now. We're going to... Let's see, which level is that? Oh, Hog Ride! It's a bit too early for this level. Yeah. It's making weird noises. When you jump. And, um... Uh... In this level, they placed some boxes. Oh my god, this is laggy. 
um, they placed box boxes in uh, places they they were not su really supposed to be there. Uh, I missed that box, but it doesn't matter because you were in this game. We're not getting any gems or anything else. Um. Um, here we go, here we go, you can see in, the, in this place, there are two places that has uh, boxes, like three boxes on the left side and three boxes on the right side. Now, I, I, I don't know how you can exactly reach both of the sides, which that's, they should have uh, think about it. And uh, as you can hear, what the hell? It's like still running. The hog is like still running. <laughs> this game is very glitchy in many ways. And um, oh, here we go the um, waterfall, le the water level, which I completely forgot the name. I don't know what's wrong with me. But this, you, see, you can see this plank. It's like um, it's kind of like the same plank as in the. Um, Japanese version of Crash Bandicoot 1? What the fuck was that? What the hell? That was stupid. Uh, I don't need to get it again. That was a really weird jump. The controls are weird. Everything is weird in this version. Okay, I need to wait till this fishes are... There are many platforms in this game that are like very difficult to get to them. You need to be very careful. And also people, as you can see this plant, you need to be very quick before it eats you. This is how it is in this version. You need to be very quick, which in the, in the finished version, um, Crash could like stay on the, on the plant for like... Let's say for like five seconds, and he wouldn't, and he wouldn't uh, eat you. But okay, let's see what's this on the yoop. And here you go. You can see it just move, appears boxes and the places they're <laughs> basically not supposed to appear. Uh, it's uh, it will be really interesting to know what's the name of the levels because um, there are levels that you know are completely different from the original holy crap there was a massive lag um, um, yeah so I wonder what's the name of the, what's the names of the levels that are actually changed or like different from the originals. Um, as you can see, like the, the, this loading times are <laughs> really terrible, and it's really I don't know why they didn't like fix it, something like that. We up, up, up. Simple. Don't need this password. <laughs> As you can see, the loading uh, thing just disappears. That's because it's um, EPSXE, and you know, it just doesn't have it properly. Fuck. Woo! Get eaten by this piece of shit. Here we go. And also, as in the normal version, you you, you get. Eat. Wait, 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 what am I on about? <laughs> kind of confused. Um, uh, I forgot what I wanted to point out. And here we go! We are up to Papu Papu. Which in here? In this version, in the prototype version, you can actually skip the part where the, the cutscene where he's sleeping. And you can see he was like, you can, he's like sleeping for a long time. And uh, if you will like jump on his head, in the normal version it will actually hit him. But in this version it won't. And also you can see that it doesn't show like his name or anything or the, um, it shows bubbles instead of like those. 
uh, it shows like those little lights, the uh, yellow lights, as a health bar of the boss. Um, I think this is. Oh, here is um something interesting. In this version, there is also a box called POW, which I need to take a screenshot of it because. Um, also, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, uh, basically, it's quite interesting. It's like a, a TNT, just it, it doesn't do anything to you when you blow it up. And it's like in Super Mario. It's just like um, well, the box right there just disappeared somehow. I don't know how, but okay. Um, uh, but, 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 yeah, so basically this POW box, it's like in Super Mario. I think that they got the idea of the POW boxes off Super Mario. At least that's what I think. Oh god. Shite. At least they got life. It's really... It, it, there is like a lack of lives in this game. It's like you don't have that much lives that you can get! Oh my god. And here you need to be very, very, very careful because there are platforms that can kill you in one second. And here we go. As you can see right here, those boxes, boxers, those boxes never were in here. As you can see, I'm gonna spin it. Nothing happens. So that's just like a box that doesn't do anything to you holy snap yeah this is the the part where you need to be very careful oh my god my gosh 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 oh my gosh I don't wanna die here we go we are going to the bonus round come on load up here we go I hope that I won't fail at this because the first time when I tried this I actually failed at this fuck <laughs> for fuck's sake I almost did it almost ah, so annoying there's some wait what <laughs> the game my, my game just froze for like a minute was kind of creepy right there. Doesn't the lives just go back down to nine every time? It's like not going over ten. Oh yes, the also um, the person from Crash Mania who made those videos about the cr uh, the prototype version of Crash Bandicoot One. Uh, apparently there's a, a waterfall level here in this hole. You f you just jump into this hole and I uh, just died. You jump into that hole and um, you basically um, spawn into like a waterfall level that you can't really access uh, unless you have some kind of a code because I think that the people from Crash Mania actually hacked the thing. And, um, well, I, I want to talk about a bit about Crash Mania, because I've been a member for a short while in there, and I kind of left the website because the people in there are just asses, and the whole community there is just crap, I'd say. Uh, it's like, you know, you want to share stuff that you got, like glitches and stuff, and... Stuff like, um, you know, um, emulators and shit. I just died. Okay, stuff like emulator um, and stuff like this, like glitches that I got on my emulator. And they're like, um, g they got like pissed off at me because it's not on the console and shit like that. Well, those, all the glitches that I got pretty much on the P on the EPSXE, I got them pretty much on the console as well, so I, I can't really be bothered to record with my capture card to record this 
ass gameplay of um, of my PS2 or PS3. So it's not really. They don't need to be all pissy about it. Also, th there is also one thing that I actually hate about, you know, um, <coughs> the, the thing that um, it makes me laugh. It's a like Crash Bandicoot fanboys. It's like, um, there are people who are obsessed with Naughty Dog, and there are people who are obsessed with, uh, you know, um, Activision, which is old Crash with versing, versus um, a new Crash. Should have safe stated right there. Um, people fight over the most pointless things because this thing, Crash Bandicoot, is just a video game. You shouldn't complain about it. It's just a video game. Move on. If you don't like it, just don't play it. You don't need to be all annoying about the whole thing. There are people who like the new games. So they like the new games, there are people who like the old games, so those people will like the old games. You don't need to argue over, like, franchises like, uh, oh, Naughty Dog was best, oh, Naughty Dog was this, oh, Naughty Dog was that. N Naughty Dog and Activision, both of them did a very good job on Crash Bandicoot, and uh, believe me, I don't find uh, the new Crash games that bad as how people make them look oh, for fuck's sake yeah some people uh, just make it look like um, it's like a terrible game like the new crash games are like terrible games and such uh, but no they're not it's just different the gameplay is different and also uh, people always complain and always will complain about uh, oh, this uh, crush doesn't spin anymore, uh, you don't break boxes, you're not getting relics, you're not doing this, you're not doing that. Uh, yeah. Well, it's time to move on, you know, you're not gonna stuck, get stuck with the same company. Well, uh, it, it was Naughty Dog's choice, I, I don't really know the whole story behind what happened with Naughty Dog and just giving out Crash Bandicoot. But uh, Activision and um, Naughty Dog made a great job on Crash Bandicoot, and there's really nothing to complain about. It's just a video game after all, and uh, people just need to enjoy it. Anyways, um, back to this crap. You can see there are many changed things in here and I am going to save state I just save stated because I don't wanna lose control in here okay okay I need to jump over here so I won't get hit by this whole crap and here's this monkey as you can see it's uh, those platforms are like slowing you down or like pushing you back which that's quite annoying because that's th that doesn't happen in the normal version in the normal version in the released game okay and here we go this is basically the same thing as how it is in the final version of Crash Bandicoot 1 um okay we got to here to this part. Okay, safe state. Of course. Whee! Also, the checkpoint has like a very, very, very um, weird noise. Oh, shite. Whee! Okay. This part is kind of getting different a bit. Holy shit. I don't think that this guy was here in the final version. I really don't think so. And also you can see here these boxes around here. They're, they weren't in here in the final version. 
No, but this level is quite easy. I don't know if you know why I don't even know why I died so much in this. Woo! We are in the bonus round, guys. Loading. The, the loading screen is just like all boring. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. As you can see, this box. This thing does doesn't go away. So it's the same thing. As, uh, it's just like you activate boxes, but the same thing. Jump on, on the same thing. Holy. I think that there is a bonus round like this, that it's not finished at all. Which is like, th there isn't any boxes, there isn't like basically end for this, this levels. Oh yeah, uh, that's really annoying, now I need to oh, jump all the way down, just to activate this bullcrap. Which is quite annoying, what? That was lame? Oh, come on. That was really lame. There you go. Here we go, right here. Here are some boxes. Jump, jumpy, jump. Whee! <clears throat> in here, there's supposed to be a life box, or just life in this part before you you go to the end of the level um also people i want to ask a question if any of you has the if any of you has the um pre beta version of crash bandicoot 2 and um you know that was released in 97 oh oh, oh i forgot that the freaking plant is going to eat you the second that you just step on it you need to be very goddamn careful cuz this is going to be a prayer this up thing is the same thing as how it is in the final version Go. This is the thing that's gonna eat your face. Monkey. Okay, here we go. Jump on both of this. Holy yoop. Okay, I don't know why, but when you're just getting up to this part, the um this thing that's on the water goes away really far away and just when you get up to this point it it comes uh, back to you oh no okay this is time to save state i should have uh, actually recorded that when i've been in a call with many people that we all uh, basically tried this um, thing, th this ISO at once. Uh, basically, I've been in a call with, um, you know, uh, Rabbit Wombat JR and um, uh, Crystal Fisher and some few other peeps, and we were like discussing about this, about this, uh, this the differences that are in this game, which is. I find it very interesting because like um, they made it they made this this um, this version the pre release the beta version uh, they made it very very difficult like the difficulty of this game is really 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 hard would you buy him? Almost died. It's time for a save state in case that shit happens. And I have like five lives left. Fifty-eight Wumpa fruits. There isn't much anything like to get in this level. I can't be bothered to just press this thing because dad, I died last time when I tried to do this thing. 
Okay. As you can see, the, there's like the, that's basically the same uh, water level that I in the final version, just with few changes in it. Well, the audio was a bit glitched. Oh, here we go. You can see here it's different as well from the final version. Oh, here you go. Whoopsie. It's always good to save state in case that shit happens. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Snap! I was very, very close. Oh, wait, there, 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 there you go. <laughs> also, um... <coughs> The the classic Crash game that I like the most, it's Crash Bandicoot 2. I don't know why, this is like one of the sim simple ga vi video games that I've ever saw. And they're very... Um, well, this just just froze. Also, uh, oh yeah, 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 let's forget about what I was talking about. You can hear that Ripperoo's laugh is like slow as hell. And as you can see in here, Ripperoo, um, right. Need to be very careful. Ripperoo's laugh is very like slow motion. Wow, they, they didn't affect him at all. Oh my god. Oh wow, that's like a very weird laugh. Oh, I almost died. Oh, 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 oh. You need to be very, very careful. Oh, snap. Oh! Oh, that was shame. Just shame. Takes it ages to blow up. Oh, you need to be very careful because there are those surprising boxes that comes out of nowhere and. I think it's kind of a bonus while you're killing the boss or like s extra boxes that you have to collect and of course I'm gonna save state because I don't even remember if I save state in the first place <laughs> my god that's his laugh is so goddamn slow Look, oh ha 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 Oh, what? What was that? What was that for? What the fuck was that? Okay, I just load stated. What the fuck was that? I was like... Ah! There was a TNT just fell on my fucking head. Come on. Wow, his laugh is so slow. <laughs> I think the more hits that fucking hell, uh, the more hits that you hit him, uh, the more the the more that the um, the sound of the um, the bug uh, the TNTs are gonna explode really faster. Of course, it's just lagged because I don't know what is wrong with this emulator, but okay. And you have, uh, I have like, uh, two hits left on this bastard. Oh, fuck you, bitch. For fuck's sake. Let me kill you. For fuck's sake. Stupid maggot. Okay. Whew. 
go. Yay! And you can also see that there isn't uh, the the animation of Crush jumping after he kills an enemy, uh, after he kills a boss. It just isn't in this game. And here we go, we're at the second island. This is very, very entertaining and suffering. Of course, I need to save states. Because this is a horrible level and you need to be very very careful with your ass in this level because if you're not gonna be careful in this level you're pretty much fucked and you have as you can see they can't even hit you but sometimes they can hit, they can actually hit you somehow I just don't know how this game really works Oh yeah, also if you, um, oh, it doesn't matter, um, if, uh, you know, in the normal version, when you kill both of those bots, um, that were like, um, in that one area, the, those other, this like, a group of bots doesn't appear anymore, now this time they actually appear, which that's kind of weird, it's time to save state, of course. Be do. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Finally, we got up to this part. Oh. Okay. We. Oh my God! Oh my God! It almost killed me. Also, this um, green thingy jumps around like a tard, but it jumps in the same place. It just like doesn't do anything else. Just that. But you can't really reach up to that cortex icon, I don't know, it's like impossible in this game. Which is quite retarded, but okay. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Alright. Here you go. Dibidibu. I think that you can get like through this thing. Oh no. In the later on uh, levels, for fuck's sake. Of course, it just like froze. I'll just forget about that because I can be asked to go for 100%. Which is kind of wasting time going for 100%, but you can't really get 100% because it's, that's the beta version and for fuck's sake. I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna put music uh, in this thing. Just can't be asked to edit like it. You need to spend a lot of time um, putting music in this game. Well, uh, you know, what the hell? It just takes a lot of time to spend uh, by putting music in this thing. Well, this is also a different thing that's never been in this game. Stupid bots. Whee! Woohoo! <clears throat> I hate this part of the level. <laughs> Even though I was like, a, a, I was a very good player of Crash Bandicoot, but to be truthfully honest, I'm not into Crash Bandicoot anymore. Like, I'm not that a, a really big fan of Crash Bandicoot. Not as like how I used to be, which I used to be like a really big fan of Crash Bandicoot. It's not that I hate the game, I just don't like... I, I, it's like... I played it too much and it's getting boring also like speedruns people were like pr uh, also yeah that, that's another thing why I got bored of this uh, you're pr you people probably know what speedruns are and uh, some people some certain people were actually practicing for those things <laughs> they were actually practicing for this 
speed runs, like they're practicing their ass off about slide spinning and other shit like that. Which quite annoyed me because it's just a video game, you don't need to take it seriously and... Yeah. It's not really fun at all when like people are making it to sound like a serious business. Right, after this level, uh, which in, in this level as well there are some changes. Oh my god. Go! Whoopsie! Whoop! Good amount of Wumpa fruits! At least I need it for lives. I'm just like safe stating every corner in case that I die. I dies and I dies and I dies and I die. Okay. Here is basically the same it, it, it's basically the same location as in uh, the this level, which I don't know what's wrong with me, I always forget names of levels. It's just like, <laughs> I really don't know why. And apparently this is the also the NTSC version of the game, of the prototype. Also this thing takes ages to fire actually. I like the um, sound that the uh, checkpoint box does. It sounds nice. Also the fire is making noise. Oh yeah, here is the bridge that you 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 have like in the in the game. Of course, the game froze for a minute. So there is like an aqua mask in here. Um, <clears throat> basically in this version, in the uh, final version of Crash Bandicoot 1, it has uh, metal boxes, which as you can see in here, it's just a uh, wooden plank. And, um, holy shit, holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, I need to be very careful because this is a bot hole. Okay, jump, jump. Be careful, safe state, and move on. I don't like it how they made it uh, like uh, that. Aku Aku is like not being gold at all, and he's like those sparkles around him. He's like following Crash all the time. I mean, doing uh, the same moves that Crash does. And shite like that. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. In here there are supposed to be like three life boxes, I believe. Which they, they are gone. Oh yeah, so I was right, you can only go up to 9 lives. That's how they made this game terrible. You can only get up to 9 lives. You can get up to like 100. Why the fire like, has effects? Okay people, I'll be right back for a minute.